Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. I'm Melissa if you haven't been here before. Today what we're going to do is we're going to do another look with the Wahala palette. I had a few people that had interest in me doing another look with this palette so that's what we're going to do today. So if that's something that you want to see and see what kind of look I come up with then just keep watching. Alright, I'm going to take off my glasses and i got to get my hair up. If y'all hear any noise, my daughter's playing in the next room, so she's seven. She's playing with her Barbies. All right, I'm going to start out by putting on a little bit of Milani Eye Primer. Actually, I'm going to start out by trying this new um, Think Me Later eyeshadow primer by Elizabeth Mott that I got in BoxyCharm. I'm going to try that out since I've already tried the palette. It's a lot thicker than the Milani Eye Primer. Alright, I'm going to start out with the BK Beauty 202 brush. I'm going to take Over Sabi right here. Mm -hmm. This kind of mustard yellowy color. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to put that in my crease. And I'm just doing windshield wiper motions, little circles here and there, but mainly just windshield wiper motions back and forth, blending that out until I get the desired amount of color that I want. Now I'm taking the BK Beauty 206. It's just a flat, but it's a fluffy as well. Um, a similar brush that I use is the Sigma E27 Detail Blending Brush. Again, it's flat, but it's kind of a fluffy brush as well. So anything like that is what I use for this step. I'm going to take this right here, this dark brown, and I'm going to put that in my outer corner. Alright, now that we got that in the outer corner, I'm taking the BK Beauty 203, which is just a flat shader brush. Just something that's going to lay down a shimmer. I also use the two best ones I've, I've used is uh, the number 6 Ultra Ego Brush and the ES5 Flat Shader Eyeshadow Brush by... Um, Perfusion. That's these two. And they're just flat shader brushes mm -hmm. that I've had work really well for me on putting on shimmer. Um, but I'm going to take Fighter right here. And I'm going to put that on the middle of my eye. I'm going to take the other side of that same brush and go into Gossip right here. And I'm going to put that on my inner corner, innermost corner on my lid. I 
All right, I'm taking a cotton round with some Meissler water on it. I'm just going to clean up any of the fallout or edges that I got. And I'm going to try again this Ole Hendrickson Banana Bright Primer. I enjoyed it yesterday, but I just want to try it again just to see how it does with a different foundation. Funny, it smells like orange juice. That's got vitamin C in it. All right, I'm taking the Revlon Candid Photo Ready Candid Natural Finish Anti Pollution Foundation, and I'm in 120 Buff. And I'm gonna dot that on my face. I'm using my Sigma Multitasker again. I've really been enjoying this brush. All right, I'm taking the Revlon Photo Ready Candid Antioxidant Concealer, and I'm in shade 5 Fair. I'm going to put that on my under eyes real quick. And I put a dot there and a dot out here, or a line out here. Dot and a line. I'm blending that out with my concealer brush. Taking the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Perfecting Powder in Porcelain L1. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to put that on my under eyes. Taking the Revlon Skin Light in 115 sun kissed beam mm -hmm. and i'm going to use that to warm up my face and i'm using my bk beauty 104 little fluffy powder brush
one under my chin and going down my neck. Taking the Revlon blush in Apricute. I'm going to use that to get some color on my cheeks. Woo. And I'm going into the Revlon Skin Lights Prismic Highlighter in 201 Daybreak Glimmer. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to put that on the high points of my cheeks. Right here. here over the brow over the other brow down the nose Cubis bow and chin. Alright, I'm taking a flat precise eyeshadow brush, the ES7 from, from Perfusion. And it looks kind of like that. It's kind of a, a smudger brush. I'm going to take a little bit of Sis, the dark brown shade. I'm going to put it on the outer third, just a little bit on the outside. I'm going to try to mimic what I got going on on the top, on the bottom. I just wiped that off on a paper towel, that same brush. I'm going to go into Fighter. I'm going to take that on the middle of my lower lash line. I wiped it off again, so I'm going to use the same brush. And I'm going to go into Gossip. Gossip right here. And I'm going to put that on the inner part of my lower lash line. I'm just going to connect it. That way it goes all it circles around. So just using that same shade for my inner corner. Still trying out my legit lashes. So far I'm loving it. My husband actually uh, complimented my lashes when I was sitting beside him. He saw how how full they were. He thought I had on false lashes, but he knows I don't wear false lashes very often. So he was like, what do you have on your lashes? So, so far so good. I'm gonna go in first with the curl and lengthen and just do one eye at a time. Now I'm going in with the volume side. I 
All right, I'm gonna try the Clarins 01 Velvet Lip Perfector that I got in my Boxy Charm. Um, let's see. I guess 01 is the shade, but that's what it looks like. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try this and see what it looks like. stings a little bit, so I don't know. Well, I'll have to keep playing with this and see what I think. But so far, I think it looks pretty. It hasn't dried down matte like I think it was supposed to yet. But it says lip hydration. I guess it looks matte, but it's still creamy. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it yet, but I mean, it, it looks pretty pretty good. It just took a little bit more to get my lines right and everything. So I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to take the Tarte Stay Spray Setting Spray. And spray my face. Alright, well this is the final look using the Wahala palette again. Um, I really, really love this palette. It makes beautiful eye looks, has beautiful shadows in it, so I'm super excited to play with it some more. Um, I don't know whether I'm going to keep making looks on the channel. I mean, there's plenty more I can do with it just looking at it and there's the blues and the pinks and even like this row right here for a more neutral look the second row over by the purples i think that will look real pretty for a neutral look so there's plenty more that i can play with i'm just i'm not sure whether i'm going to make more looks on my channel or not we'll see uh, I, like i said i kind of wanted to do like a seven day seven looks kind of thing um but i think my color pop handyland is supposed to be coming tomorrow it was supposed to be coming saturday it was loaded on the vehicle but for some reason ups decides if it's not supposed if it's a day early they're not going to deliver it even if it's loaded on the vehicle so ups kind of irritates me so does fedex as well as the mailman but that's neither here nor there we're not going to talk about that I could go on for days about delivery people, but I really, really like the look that I came up with today. I hope you liked it too. Um, if you did, please hit the like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love for you to become a part of our family here. Also, ring the bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload my amazing content. And that's going to be all for me. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye, y'all.